Hello everyone, today I'm going with GCC Computer Science and I'll be focusing on the common types of storage. So there are three main types of secondary storage. One is optical storage, another is magnetic storage, and the third is solid state storage. So secondary storage. The device that reads and writes the data from the secondary storage is referred to as the drive. The data that is stored on it is referred as the media. So optical storage. We have an optical storage drive and the choice of media. One is CDR, which is compact disc read only. We have CDRW, which is compact disc read, uh, read write. We have DVDR, which is digital versatile disc read only. DVDRW, digital versatile read disc write. And we have Blu-ray, which is a newer version as it has a greater storage. CDR and CDRW. So they became popular for storing and distributing music and CDRW as a backup option. DVD-R and DVD-RW. They became popular for storing motion pictures, movies and films. DVD-R is a more useful backup option as it has a greater storage than compact discs. With the development of high definition motion pictures, greater storage was required. So then Blu-ray became popular as an alternative to the DVD-R. The field of music and film storage has seen many drives and medias come and go over the years, but these devices have been popular. Optical drives. So they work by shining a laser at the media and processing the reflection from the media. In the case of read-only drives, for example CDR and DVDR, the surface of the disc is physically burnt by the laser, creating something called pits and lands, suitable for storing zeros and ones. Once the surface has been burnt, it cannot be changed, making it read-only. So DVDs store more data than CDs because the pits and lands are smaller and closer together as the laser technology has increased in precision. Data is read and written from the inside of the disc to the outside in, this, in a spiral. This makes them slow devices for accessing data. Magnetic storage. Most typical computer systems use magnetic disks. Imagine a normal magnet that has a north and south end. This is ideal for storing zeros and ones. Over the years, the technology has been re refined significantly to pack an ever increasing number of magnetized compounds in the same space. So as a result, magnetic hard disks, disks today have an extremely high capacity. So hard disks have a dry pad that must physically move over the surface of the disk and this is this is the clicking sound that you hear that your computer makes so magnetic storage so the drive head makes it drive slower than the devices with no moving parts so since this is a mechanical component it will eventually fail so tapes have also been popular magnetic devices in the past they used to be considered extremely large in capacity resulting being ideal for backup Due to their small size and portability, keeping an off-site backup with an easy magnet was easy with magnetic tapes. Solid state storage. So solid state storage are gaining popularity as they are small, lightweight, and very quickly to access data. They are also operate they also operate with no sound. So there are many different types of solid state storage and they are beginning to be repla replace hard disks as their capacity increases and their costs decreases. Solid state storage. So they work by a flow of electricity, forcing electrons onto the flowing gate between two oxide layers. This causes the, a change in the charge in the flow, floating gate and this can be measured as one or zero. Over time, the oxide layers deteriorate leading to the transfer of electrons becoming unreliable so the solid state media has several read write cycles and therefore a limited lifespan thank you everyone for listening to my video bye